Hey, Chris here. At some point, most podcasters have the idea that, hey, since I'm already editing my own podcast, I could edit other people's podcasts and earn some extra money. And maybe I could do the editing for several other podcast shows and make a lot of extra money. And this can be a good idea for those podcasters who actually enjoy the process of editing and production. It's a good way to make a little side income for sure. Uh, the reality is that you have to be careful making this decision because if, if you bring on a few clients and you're successful and you you do the work and it, the client likes you and you're earning money, that's great. But sometimes regular podcasters, when they start editing and producing for other people, they quickly realize that they don't really like it that much. You know, it was a good idea to make some extra money, but once they start doing it, they don't like it, or maybe they're not even that good at it, or maybe they're not good at dealing with clients, whatever. So you just have to be careful. So before you embark on this journey of bringing, of editing for other people, um, there are two main ideas you, you might want to consider. How many episodes will you realistically be able to produce every week? or every month, whatever the case is. So you just have to make sure that you have the bandwidth and the time available in your life to do the work for these other people. And I know a lot of people do it on nights and weekends, and that's fine. If, if it works for the client, that's fine. The, other, the second concern is, what is one hour of your production time worth to you? So yes, doing editing for other podcast shows and, and earning money is great, but like how much are you earning, right? You have to be very careful that the time you spend working for other people, you have to make sure that you're compensated enough for that. I mean, you wouldn't do it for like $5 an hour, would you? No, probably not. So what's your number? What are you worth what would you need to charge? That's another thing you have to be careful. And you have to decide that before you get clients because you don't want to just sign up a client and where you're getting paid $5 an hour. And then after one episode, you're going to be like, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. So that's it. Those are the few thoughts I wanted to share with you today. Don't forget, I always point the wrong way first, don't I? Uh, this is my podcast, The Podcast Engineering Show. You can sign up for the daily goodie emails at the website, podcastengineeringschool.com. And you can also see our the full course there where I teach people how to make a great living working from home, producing podcasts for clients. So let's leave it there. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to. And let me know in the comments if you like this or if you want me to do any other types of videos. All right. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.